welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome uh, my name is Anne I am a professor of public health and um, I make videos on grad school um, sometimes even undergrad and um, being an immigrant being an international student this channel is just to give back um, because I've learned some things along the way and I feel like it's my duty to share with you guys with people who want to come to grad school in the US and um, people who are already in grad school and um, so yeah all right so how to turn your graduate degree into a job um, I'm gonna focus on PhD for this video um, because that's I, I think having a PhD and turning it into a job is a little bit more tricky all right so number one is have an elevator speech about your research interests. So when you go for conferences, when you meet people, they always ask you, oh, so what are your research interests? You need to be able to go, 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 go. Don't start beating around the bush. Well, I like this, I'm interested in this. No, you need to rehearse your research interests, like your, your, your speech. Have a solid speech, compelling solid speech. So when people, senior professors meet you at conferences, when you're networking and they say, oh yeah, tell me, what are your research interests? You just go, right? And it's like, it's, um, what word would I use? It is impressive, um, you know? So you need to have that. Number two, write, write, write. Publish or perish. You guys have heard that? Publish or perish. You have to publish. Forget about that A, forget about that social event. I'm not saying don't have a life, but focus on writing. Writing, writing, writing for publication, writing grants, student grants. Apply for a ton of student grants. Like apply to maybe a total of like nine student grants during my PhD. I got three, um, but I still put that in my CV that I applied to all of these um, grants. You just need to show that you have the tendency to write and apply for for grants. You talk to professors in your department that are writing, say, hi, can I um, work on the references? Um, can I help you find, you know, articles for the introduction so you can put me as an author, you can add me as an author? Like, talk to professors in your department. Get writing, start writing. Write, write, write. Publish or perish. Okay. A lot of universities want to see that you can write grants, that you can submit grants. No matter how small it is, write. No matter even if it's a $300 grant, maybe travel grant, whatever. Apply, apply, apply. Okay. Um, don't obsess over grades. Focus primarily on your research and relationships with your professors. This sounds crazy, especially if you're a first year PhD student watching this. You're like, what? I want to get all A's. But I'm telling you, focus on your research. From day one, start writing. Start focusing on your research. And focus on your relationships with your professors. So when you're, when you're applying for jobs, the two, two big things they look at are your writing, your write, your, the track record of your writing, and your reference letters. So you need to be in relationship with professors that carry weight, some weight, right, in your field. So focus on your relationships with professors and write, write, write. And let me tell you, if you're productive, if you're writing, if you're publishing, if you're writing, applying for grants, professors are gonna like you because everybody likes a productive student. So, yeah. All right, submit abstracts to conferences for poster presentations. If, you know, as you're writing, um, trying to publish, obviously publishing is harder than submitting, getting um, poster presentations accepted at conferences. So while you're writing, submit as many abstracts to, to conferences. Submit, submit, submit. You want your, by the time you're graduating from your PhD, you want to have a ton of poster presentations. It could be even podium presentations if you're, if you're lucky. Um, but strive for poster presentations at least. So have at least two professional conferences that you attend yearly and at least have three posters, 
per conference. So that means you're submitting like six different presentations, six different abstracts per conference. So that's 12 abstracts. So your goal should be, okay, I'm submitting six abstracts to this conference, six abstracts to this conference. The probability of you getting at least three accepted is very high. So by the time you're graduating, after four years, you have a ton of presentations. And that speaks to who you are, to your work ethic. And universities are gonna be interested in that. Research organizations are gonna be interested in you because they oh, they see that, oh, this person works hard, you know. So, yeah. Um, so attend conferences and network. Boldly ask professors about possible postdoc or assistant professor positions in their um, departments, in their institutions. So I cannot stress this enough, attend conferences. Attend, attend, attend conferences. And work, talk to professors. Get your research, um, your elevator speech down and network with professors. A lot of times a professor can just see your name when you apply and be like, oh, I met, I met her at a conference. I met him at a conference. I really enjoyed talking to him. Let's interview him, let's give him a chance. You know, you just never know. So network with people at conferences. I know people, you can be shy. People, some of you are very shy and timid, but you have to practice. You have to get out of your shell and you have to talk to people. Some of you feel like, oh my gosh, I have a thick accent. Oh my God, I can't, you know, oh my God, this person, they wrote my textbook and you're, you're kind of intimidated. Like you're like starstruck. But trust me, they're humans. They are humans. I, I've been to a conference where this guy, super respected in my field, super respected. He was drunk, like, and I saw him drunk. And I feel like that just made him all the more human, right? So think about it. They're human like us, they're human. So network, talk to people, and that may just land you your next job. So these are the things I did. I always went to conferences every single year of my PhD. I attended a conference. I talked to people. I, you know, met with people. I mean, it was amazing. It was really amazing. And um, I got four job offers, you know, and that was, I, it blew my mind. But these are the things I did. These are the things I did. And that's my baby crying. <laughs> okay, I have to go now. But you guys remember these things, okay? Remember these tips and put them into practice. I promise you, you will get a job. If you are just starting your PhD, good for you because now you know what you really need to do to get a fantastic job when you graduate. If you are, if this is the end of your PhD, still fine, still fine. You can incorporate some of these ideas um, as you job search. Um, yeah, all right. See you guys. Thanks for watching and subscribe. It helps my channel um, grow. So join the Anne on Demand family and um, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.